Hello and welcome to this WagePoint tutorial on how to connect WagePoint to Xero. Let's get started. Once you have successfully logged into WagePoint, proceed to the upper right hand corner where your avatar is and select the down arrow key. You'll notice the third option is called Add-ons. Select on that now. From here, you're going to want to select Zero. Get the app. If you have not already signed up for Zero, you can do so right here. Since we are already a Zero customer, we are going to select Login. From here, select the company that relates to the WagePoint file you want to connect. You'll notice here the API is now connecting Zero to WagePoint. Perfect. The next thing we want to do is review our chart of accounts. At this point, it is now important to ensure you have all of your chart of accounts already set up in Xero. If you have not done this, please pause this video, go back into Xero, and set up your chart of accounts. That way, when you select the down arrow key, all of your accounts will be populated. If you've had to make changes, be sure to refresh your screen in the top left hand corner to ensure your most up to date accounts are ready for you in WagePoint. Perfect. Okay, you have two options to export data from WagePoint into Xero. The most commonly used item is the accounts payable in invoice entry, as well as the WagePoint invoice. We're going to cover both of these in this tutorial today. Okay, right off the hop, the first thing is the credits and the debits section. This relates to your accounts payable invoice entry. Think of it like a journal entry. You need to balance your debits and your credits. Your credits could be an accrued liability account, a payroll clearing account, or something that needs to offset against the bank feed that's going to be going into zero. Perfect. Let's go to the debits column now. This is where you can be very specific about which expense accounts are related to each type of debit in WagePoint. So for simplicity, we've gone ahead and put account wages and salaries to EI expense, CPP wages, and all this good stuff. If you wanted to be a little more diagnostic and choose a different account, you could certainly do that. Notice you're going to have your processing fees for WagePoint. So you can select bank fees or something very similar. And if you're within Canada and have a refundable tax credit, make sure that you select the sales tax that is according to your province. Okay, the next section is called cash payments. Now remember, we have two options to export data from WagePoint into Zero. This is what you would call your WagePoint invoice. This is more of a simplistic way to export data into Xero. So if you're not wanting to be very granular with your different types of payroll expenses, you can certainly use this option. Uh, we're going to demonstrate both of these for you in Xero. So the funds for net pay, I'm going to offset that to wages and salaries. The source deductions, these are the amounts that go to Canada Revenue Agency. I'm also offsetting to wages and salaries, workers comp, etc. Next thing to do, it's very important, is to select save. Perfect. Now, let's scroll down a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and select both of these to export the wage point invoice and export the AP invoice. You don't necessarily need to do this. You could just select one or the other. But for the purposes of this video today, I'm going to select both so that you see what they both look like in zero. Make sure you select the last pay date and make sure you include any type of reports that you're wanting to also be an attachment within Xero. In this case, I'm fine with just the defaults. Let's press export data. Once your data has successfully exported from WagePoint, it's time to go into Xero next. From here, you'll notice that you have two bills in a draft state. Go ahead and select on those now. Now recall, we exported both the AP invoice and the wage point invoice. In theory, you only need to select one of these options and create a process from that. For the purposes of this video today, I am showing you how both of them look like when they're exported from wage point into zero. Let's take the first entry. Simply select on the hyperlink here. 
What I like about this particular entry is that it's very similar to a journal entry. Remember we talked about that in the wage point portal. We can see the individual accounts and where we want them offset against. Now recall I chose the credit being accrued liabilities. The reason for that is when the amount is, is withdrawn from the client's bank account I'll simply offset that entry against accrued liabilities and be able to reconcile accrued liabilities reflectively. You may also want to choose something else like a maybe it's specific to wage point. Call it a wage point payroll clearing account. This is a very common process that a lot of organizations use when they want to be a little more diagnostic when it comes to the debit side. Remember the wages and the salaries. You can have a different account for the holiday pay, the EI expense, the CPP, etc. So in this case, we we're able to see the supporting documentation on the left, as well as the transactional data here in zero on the right. And you can select approve and move forward. Okay, now let me show you the wage point invoice. Now the second option was to export the wage point invoice. This would be for a simplistic organization that doesn't really require their individual payroll items to be expensed to various general ledger accounts. Select the hyperlink here. So option two would be to use the export wage point invoice, which you can see here on the left hand side. Then the amounts are populated here on the right hand side and you would approve it accordingly. Now in this case it's a demo file in which we're not set up for transactional data, but in a typical organization you would see the funds for net pay and the source deductions uh, populated here and you would select approve payment. What's nice about this option is this bill which is created in zero will automatically match or show up as a possible match in your bank feeds and you simply select OK. There we go. Thank you very much for your time today and learning how to connect WagePoint to zero. Have yourself a wonderful day.